Hey class, so in this video I'm going to talk to you about how do you properly use your scientific calculator to do scientific notation. So in many cases you can borrow a calculator in class um, or you can use your own, right? As long as it has the proper buttons and functionality. So uh, in the first semester you did scientific notation but you couldn't use your calculator on the quiz. And many of you mastered that quiz so you understand that in scientific notation that when you have a positive exponent you move the decimal place to the right, and when you have a negative exponent, it means you move the decimal point to the left. So this semester, you have to know how to do that in your calculator, and the calculator does all the work for you. You just have to hit the right buttons. So let's take a simple example. In multiplication, it doesn't matter, right? So when you do 2 times 3 times 4 times 5, it doesn't matter. You can mix up the order. So you could do 4 times 5 times 2 times 3, and you'd get the same answer as if you did 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. And obviously that answer is 120. So we're going to write 120 right here. And But when you do division, you have to do it in the correct order. So let me type it in. 2 times 3 divided by 4 times 5. Now that's actually the wrong answer. Now, because I didn't use parentheses. So, this is what, if you type it in directly like that, this is actually what comes out of your, that's actually what the calculator thinks you're doing. 2 times 3 divided by 4 times 5. It actually is moving this times 5 to the top of the fraction if you don't use parentheses. So we could type parentheses in, right? We could put those in, but those are extra button presses that can lead to mistakes, right? The more button presses you have, the greater chance that you'll get the answer wrong because every time you press the button, a button on your calculator, you can make a mistake, right? So we want to minimize button presses. So let's go back and do this problem again. So but we're going to use uh, our parentheses instead. So we do 2 times 3 divided by, and then you use the open parentheses and do 4 times 5 in there, right? And there you go equals and you get 0.3 is the answer. You can see obviously the answer changed quite a bit just using on based on using parentheses like shown over here on the left where the 4 times 5 is done first, right? So you could also do it another way. You could type in 2 times 3 divided by 4 divided by 5 because basically both numbers here at the bottom are being divided. So we do 2 times 3 divided by 4 divided by 5 and you get 0.3 as well. So I'm going to write that down here where 2 times 3 divided by 4 divided by 5 is the same thing as putting the parentheses at the bottom of the fraction. If you don't put the parentheses, this is what happens. And you don't want to have to move that stuff in. Because scientific notation has the times 10 in there, you want to make sure you avoid that mistake. So. You can use parentheses, but there's a better way to do this. I'm going to show you in two examples. So here is the first question to practice. 6.15 times 10 to the negative 3 divided by 2.07 times 10 to the negative 10. If you know how to do this, you can try it out and you can pause the video. Otherwise, you can keep playing to see how to divide this properly. Okay, so after you turn your calculator on, you type in the numbers, 6.15, second function, EE. E. See how there's a, this EE e letters next to the x negative 1? It's blue, so you've got to use the second function. Some of your calculators have an EXP button, which makes it even faster. But you see it's E, right? Not times E, just E, right? That's times 10. So then you do times 10 to the negative third power, and then you divide by 2.07, and then second function EE again. Again, there's only a single E on the screen. And negative 10. Then you hit equals. Right? So the answer is, is 2.97 times 10 to the positive 7. So if you do it wrong, right, if you use the other method, right, 6.15 times 10 with a caret. I missed the 1 there times 10 with a caret, negative 3, 
and then you divide that by 2.07 times 10 with a caret negative 10 and you see notice how I don't, didn't use parentheses right it's going to move this 10 to the negative 10 to the top of the fraction and it's going to give you a totally different answer notice the answer is 2.97 times 10 to the negative 13 so you're actually many many zeros off we're about 20 zeros 20 factors of 10 off of the correct answer so that's why you don't use this method see with the times and the 10 and the caret right extra button presses lead to mistakes and so you want to make sure you get that right so the answer is 2.97 times 10 to the positive 7. So now that you've tried one question and seen the answer, go ahead and try this question. 3.25 times 10 to the neg negative 6, divide by 6.03 times 10 to the negative 2. Pause the video and then try it out and then see if you got the right answer. So in the second problem, it is 3.25 second function e right times 10 to the negative 6 power negative 6 power and you divide that by 6.03 times 10 to the negative 2 and you hit equals notice no times no 10 and the answer is 5.39 times 10 to the negative 5 so you can notice that I already have it in scientific notation mode, but you can take it off by hitting second function and the psi button. On other calculators, it's a mode button, but you move it over. Now flow, I don't know what flow stands for, but flow is standard notation, and notice it says it in standard notation. But you always want to put it in scientific whenever possible. So you do second function and psi again, right? This is DRG button, but we're not using a DRG function. We're using psi. So second function, Psi, we move back to Psi and hit Enter. And you notice the answer comes back in scientific notation. It's very important to write the times 10 part. So the answer to the second question is 5.39 times 10 to the negative 5 power. Okay, so now that you've done those two examples and you've gotten the correct answers, you want to make sure that you know the, that you have these skills that are they are three things how to use the ee or exp button on your calculator to replace the four button presses there's no times and one and zero and caret anymore it's just ee button or exp button right uh, you want to avoid parentheses in, in when you're dividing scientific notation because it's just extra button presses but if you don't put the parentheses right and you don't use the ee button you're going to lead to the mistakes that we talked about and then how to make a calculator convert between standard and scientific notation. And that's the first quiz of the second semester. Uh, if you have any questions, please write them down, and we'll, you'll get to take the quiz in class. Thanks. Bye.